At the Novi Yari Lovechi border crossing, it's business as usual. About a thousand people transit through here every day, going to and coming from Belarus. On the other side, Russia and Belarus are holding joint military exercises, but no sign of that here. Still, the border guards say they are on high alert and prepared. But how? It depends on the forces which will oppose us and on the situation we will face. The only thing I can say is that there are units ready to react in case of any threat coming from the neighboring country. There's little to show in terms of military buildup on the Ukrainian side of the crossing. This ditch was dug a while ago. It's now being reinforced with coils of razor wire. This road is more than 2,000 kilometers long. It starts in Odessa on the Black Sea, goes to Kiev towards the north of the country, crosses Belarus and ends up in St. Petersburg in Russia. So should Russia decide to send its troops across the border into Ukraine from Belarus, this would be a perfect way in. From here, it's an easy four hours drive south to the capital. But at the moment, it's Ukrainian troops who are on the move north. Ukraine's northern border is more than a thousand kilometers long. But Nikolai Yashinka remembers when there were no demarcations. Russia, Belarus and Ukraine were all part of the Soviet Union. He says his life was better then. His wife Nadia is suspicious of us and says that no one here will tell us what they really think. People here are closely linked to Russia. Valery Petrovich tells us people intermarry, go shopping across the border. That's where he got his boots. And he doesn't see their big neighbor as the enemy. No, 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 no. Nobody will fight. Everyone here will laugh about it. We don't care. I watch TV and it's horrible. Our troops are mobilizing, mobilizing. Russians don't care. Let them come. We will welcome them. They won't do anything to us. We are not afraid because we are a part of Russia. If they were to invade, Russians could also come through the Sinkivka crossing. It sits at the junction of Ukraine, Belarus to the west and Russia to the east. The Three Sisters Monument, a symbol of brighter days between the three countries. Anatoly and his wife are on the way to visit their daughter and grandchildren in Moscow. They don't go as often because of the uncertainty of a looming war. But he, like most people living near the border, don't agree or see why relations between Kiev and Moscow have reached such a low point. Hod Abdelhamid, Al Jazeera along Ukraine's northern border.